A new CEO is named for Lumentum. We'll explain how the former top exec will continue to serve the Photonics company. ViewReel rakes in more than $40 million in investments. I'll speak with the founder of the micro LED tech developer to see how it plans to spend all that money. And newly released images show lasers at work in the US Navy's counter defense program. All this and more on Photonics Spectra Now. Photonic Spectra Now is brought to you by Skia Systems. From nano to infinity, visit skia-systems.com for more. By Edmund Optics, the future depends on optics. Go to edmundoptics.com to see their complete line of products. And by Poet Technologies, the world's best hybrid integration platform for pluggable transceivers. Check out poet-technologies.com to learn more. Hi, and welcome to Photonic Spectra Now, covering your top headlines in the world of photonics. I'm Joe Kaczynski, a senior editor with Photonic Spectra. Optics and photonics specialist Lumentum is announcing that Michael Hurlston will take over as CEO. Hurlston will succeed Alan Lowe, who's set to retire from the position. Lowe will remain with Lumentum as a member of its board and as an advisor to the company. Before taking over for Lowe, Hurlston served as president and CEO of Synaptics. New reports accuse an employee of a Lithuanian laser manufacturer of selling secrets to the Russian military. Now, according to these reports, Optogamma suspended its own membership in the Lithuanian Laser Association following this revelation. One person is said to have been detained and an investigation is underway. We'll bring you more from this story as it develops. Semiconductor company ViewReal has secured more than $40 million in Series C funding. These funds will allow the company to ramp up its production capabilities and expand its global footprint in the field of micro-LED production. I got the chance to speak with ViewReal CEO and founder Reza Chaji on the big investment to learn more about the challenges in micro-LED production and how this money will help. Now we are at the stage that we need to set the company for uh, production and support our partners in the scale-up. Uh, so the funding, primarily, primary focus of this funding is going to be on that. Uh, capturing more market share, uh, engaging more customers, and also supporting existing customer to kind of go to products and, and take advantage of micro LED as the first adopter. There is no proper vetted supply chain in the market yet. And, and that's there are few kind of isolated groups together working here and there. Uh, so what we've been doing and we've been focusing is kind of creating an ecosystem of suppliers and partners that can help bring this uh, technology to, uh, to the market faster. Last year, ViewReal made plans to double its manufacturing space and establish partnerships with several key companies. Researchers from Cornell and the Rochester Institute of Technology have discovered a method to introduce chirality into the band structure of semiconductors. So what exactly does that mean? Well, according to this study, the approach could give scientists simultaneous control over light, spin, and charge. Potentially advancing photonic technologies relying on controlling polarization like displays and optical sensors. And lastly, an image of a warship is going viral. That's because a newly released port from the Department of Defense is showing the U.S. Navy's high-powered laser defense system in action. This image, published earlier this week from the Center for Countermeasures, shows tests performed using the Helios weapon system. In the undated photo, the U.S. warship is said to be firing that beam against a simulated cruise missile. Have news you'd like to share or suggestions for our team? You can send any story tips, questions, or comments to video at photonics.com. Give us a like and click that subscribe button in the corner for all the latest videos from Photonics Media, and be sure to follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. Remember, you can always find more details on these stories and everything else happening in our industry by going to photonics.com. I'm Joe Kaczynski, and thanks for watching.